Hi there! In the continuation of our lesson about the properties of matter, we're done with um, discussing the properties of solid and liquid. I hope you watch that. Now, what about the properties of gas and even plasma? We, for all we know, the sun is made of plasma and even the aurora is in plasma. So, let's talk about it. In terms of the movement of the particles in gas, for all we know, they are moving violently. They are far from each other. They are, in terms of fluidity, they flow faster than a liquid. They fill in the container. Those are what we know now about the gases. So, one by one, let us see. First property is its volume. So, gas it Gases do not have definite volume. You have to think or remember that. Gas will only fill whatever volume is available. Like inside a box, inside a cylinder, it may just fill whatever volume is available. So the space is where the molecules move freely, like this. As you can see in the animation, since they are moving freely, that is how they are considered to be gas. Mixture of gases will coexist within the same volume. So it is measured using Birette. Have you seen something like this? And the SI unit for volume are liter, milliliter, or cubic centimeter second property of gas is its pressure the movement of molecules exerts a force over the area like this showing you the pressure present in air and even in our the kind of water that we are experiencing it has something to do with air pressure so the SI unit for pressure is called Pascal and the instrument used to measure is the barometer next temperature the average kinetic energy of the particles in matter like whenever you increase the temperature you are also increasing the kinetic energy of the particles in matter. An increase in temperature causes the air to expand, thus increasing its volume. That's the effect. I have here a sulfur hexafluoride, I guess that is much denser than air, and when you pour it into a boat that is floating on it, it will surely sink. You see that? Next is the plasma. It is the fourth state of matter and they are characterized as hot ionized gas that allows both the positive charged ion and the negative charged electron to coexist. They are strongly influenced by electricity and even magnetic fields. And they are different from a neutral gas because they are ionized gases. It fills the interplanetary space like the sun, stars, planets, and certain planetary moons. And here are my example. A while ago, I showed this to you. The aurora. That light coming from the light bulb and some sort of electricity like that so therefore that's the end of our lesson about the properties of gas and plasma so i hope you learned something from this stay tuned in the next topic to review bye bye